Welcome to Digital Sculptor's video tutorial series. Today, we will look at the export alias add-on for Blender. This tutorial shows how to get export alias add-on, how to install and the general usage. This add-on helps to transfer Blender subdivision data and mesh data, along with materials to alias. The subdivision models could be further edited in alias. Alias can natively import subdivision data either through as an OBJ file or as a FBX. In case of OBJ files, all crease information is lost. In the case of transfer of data through FBX, additional steps should be done in Blender before the data can be translated. The export alias add-on helps to alleviate these problems. Please be reminded that a recent version of alias, 2023.1 or newer, should be installed on the system for the add-on to function. You can download a trial version of Alias from Autodesk website. The link is in the description below. A detailed documentation of the add-on and the download information is available at www.digital-sculptors.com. The link is in the description below. The add-on is a zip file. Please do not unzip the file. Open Blender, go to Edit, Preferences. Click on the Add-on button. Click on the Install button and point to the downloaded zip file. In this case export alias underscore win underscore x64.zip. The add-on will be installed. Enable the add-on by adding a check mark. The documentation button will take you to the online site. Close the Blender Preferences. The export alias function is now installed under File, Export, Export Alias. Open the file that would be exported. Select the objects that you need to export and click the Export Alias menu entry. The option window is as follows. Please remember that if the modifier stack does not contain subdivision, then the objects will be translated as alias meshes, instead of subdivision surfaces. The subdivision modifier should be last in the modifier stack. If selected only, is enabled, only the selected objects will be exported. Batch mode enables to save each of the objects to separate files. The axis setting in most cases can be left as it is. The apply modifiers option will apply all the modifiers in the modifier stack before exporting. Disable booleans, use this option if there are boolean operations on the model. It is always better to transfer the Boolean tools as separate objects and later trimmed in alias. Separate non-manifold, alias does not allow islands in the subdivision surfaces. This option will separate all the islands in and mesh to independent meshes. Apply mirror should be used in conjunction with the separate objects option. The reason is that mirror objects that do not meet along a common edge would still be considered as mesh islands. By selecting this option, the mirror modifier will be applied and the mirrored object will be separated. Let's see how we can transfer data to alias, both as subdivision and as mesh. Let's use the sample BMW car as an example. As you can see, there is only one mesh in the files. If the subdivision modifier is either applied or removed, the resultant object will be transferred as an alias mesh. Let's apply the subdivision modifier and click on File, Export, Export Alias. The default options are OK for meshes. Give a name and click Export Alias. The System Console window will show the details of export. In this case, it shows only one object as translated. Let's reopen the same file. This time we will save the subdivision data. As you can see, there are only two modifiers in the stack, a mirror modifier and a subdivision modifier. As explained before, both separate non-manifold and apply mirror modifier needs to be enabled. Give a new file name and click on Export Alias button to export.
The console window now shows that there are a number of objects were exported. Let's open both the files and compare the results. The first file only has the mesh data, in a folder called BMW. It has the correct shader applied, although you would notice that the rear view mirror had a different material in Blender. This material is already listed in the shader. This a limitation in alias. If part of the mesh needs to be in a different shader, it needs to be separated in alias or in Blender, and the correct material applied. In the other file which had the subdivision data, objects are arranged in the same layer, with shader same as the material name in Blender. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please leave your comments and suggestion. Thank you for watching.